Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be trying something new. I'm going to be doing some lost foam aluminum casting um, to cast the, the front of the pedals here for my, my speedster that I've been building. And I made a number of these. You can see this is what they look like uh, freshly cast. Uh, this is something that's new to me, and I'm going to go through the process of um, how I first how I cast these, and then I'll also show you refining them and mounting them to my pedals here. So enjoy the video. All right. So what I'm doing is uh, since I want a nice, nice cross-hatched diamond pattern um, on the front of my my pedals, is I've got my piece of styrofoam here, and I'm at the router, and in the router I have this pointed bit there. And what I'm going to do, so you can see I've already done a couple here, is I'm just running this, this piece of styrofoam along my fence here, moving it over a little bit, and I'm cutting those nice little V-shaped grooves in the styrofoam there. So I'll cut them along here, and then I'll cut ones along this way. That'll give me my nice, my, my nice diamond pattern up there. And then I can whittle out whatever shape I actually want um, the pedal border to be. Uh, but I think this is a, a pretty cool little little trick I'm doing. So of course you don't have to use uh, fancy tools like this but um, I figured I have it so why not use it just to make a nice nice uniform pattern on there. Okay, now that I have um, some of the uh, patterns made up out of the styrofoam, I'm going to actually make my own um, casting sand. Um, it's pretty simple. There's just three components to it. You have sand, a little bit of clay. I got a hunk of clay here. This is stuff that I, I actually dug up a while ago that I've had <laughs> laying around. And I, I dried out some of it here and ground it up into a nice powder. So it's sand, a little bit of clay, and then just enough water to hold it together, have it, have it form its shape. So I'm going to dump this clay in there. I think this is more than I'm actually going to need for that amount of sand, but I can add more sand as I, as I mix it up um, to, to get to the right consistency. And I really don't know what ratio you need, so I'm just going to go until uh, whatever I think looks right. All right, so I added a little bit of water there. I also added a little bit of more clay in there too, and you can see I can squeeze it. It holds its form like that, but it's not, it's not like wet or sticky at all, and it kind of crumbles pretty nicely. So I think that's about the consistency that I'm looking for, and of course I can adjust the ratio a little bit more if I wanted to, but that seems pretty good. <laughs>
it was not there for <laughs> Get a quench. All right, so as you can see here now, I cast multiple petals here. I made six of these styrofoam molds and then cast six petals, and they all turned out pretty evenly too. Uh, this was the first one that I made here, and it has a little area down here at the bottom where there's some extra material there. But other than that, all of them turned out with pretty much the same sort of detail and surface finish to them. I could have used a finer sand, that probably would have given me a little bit more detail or maybe a little bit of a denser foam as well I could have gotten more detail out of. Um, but overall for my first time uh, casting, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Um, this lost foam method of casting is pretty much the easiest um, method of doing that. Really all you need to do is just carve something out of styrofoam, bury it in sand and then pour uh, molten metal into that. So it's pretty simple and easy to do um, without too much complexity. So that's it for making the actual petals now. Uh, you can see on this one, I kind of took a file and cleaned up the, the diamond pattern there to kind of make it a little sharper. You can see it reflects the light much better, much more sharply than um, just the, the rough casting profile there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pick two of the best ones out of here for my brake and clutch pedals in my Speedster. And then the rest of the video is going to be refining that. I'll probably clean out, clean out the, the grooves with the file like that. And I'll clean up the back of it too and then mount it onto uh, my pedals. So that's what the rest of the video is gonna be.
All right, so the, I got the petals in there now, as you can see, and I really love the look of them. I especially love uh, the diamond pattern there. I think it looks great, especially when you're looking at the petals um, way down there from outside of the car. Uh, but all in all, there's not a lot to them. Um, the, the sand casting was definitely new to me, and it's something that I'm definitely going to, to utilize in the future as well, because it, it's a lot of fun to just uh, carve something out of styrofoam and then bury it in sand and then make a casting. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, really? Yeah, it went straight to right off the side. <laughs> <laughs>